So this is a video about the plastic connectors that are on the bottom of uh, Toyota cars. I looked on the internet and I tried to find out the part, the exact part. I couldn't I found some things, but I didn't know if that was really this thing. So I decided to do a little bit of research. And it turns out there's a threaded stud that comes out of the car and that pushes onto it. So this is a little bit hard to see picture, but um, basically there's a stud that's you know permanently uh, welded to the car and you just push that on there but to get it off you you uh, basically twist it off because it's a threaded stud and this is what a little video I found on the internet but there is a little cut there so it made me <laughs> a little bit concerned but the solution is just keep on turning it and pulling and it's threaded it should come off I've only done the one so um, but I did pull it off just to look at it so here's what it looks like it's a two-piece thing and this assembles onto the plastic panel that's on the bottom of your car and uh, you can see inside there that there's these things that kind of grip onto the threads of the post that's uh, welded onto the car so uh, this thing normally isn't taken apart usually the white and the black part are stuck together um, and it clips on like this but I took it off just to see how it worked and show you how it worked so normally the, you you'd put this black thing through the hole in the plastic panel and then click this thing on the back or that's what they do in the manufacturer and you wouldn't have to do that because this usually just stays right on the plastic panel underneath your car so uh, yeah so that's that's kind of how it works um, I didn't really try to find the part number on here but here's me putting putting that back onto the car um, Normally, of course, you wouldn't have to do this, like I said. Just normally that would stay on that splash panel. And it just this would clip in just like we saw in the video just moments ago on my desktop. But once you get that, that's that's kind of your starting position normally, and you just align that up with the stud, which is very difficult to see here. I was trying to video and work this, work this into position at the same time. But once you line it up on the stud, it's pretty straightforward. You just give it a shove. And that's it. So you're, uh, you're, you're all set.